हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू वीडियो ऑफ डेटा पम्प सीरीज एंड इट इज़ द फर्स्ट वीडियो विच विल बी बेस्ड ऑन स्कीम एक्सपोर्ट सो इन दिस डेटा पम्प सीरीज आई विल कवर बिलो टॉपिक्स दैट इज एक्सपोर्टिंग एंड इम्पोर्टिंग सिंगल और मल्टीपल स्कीमा सिंगल और मल्टीपल टेबल एक्सपोर्ट विथ सिक्वल क्वेरी सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सपोर्ट a particular range of data using sql uh, using sql query condition so i will show that also export using parameter file complete database export export for different oracle version suppose uh, you want to take export of oracle 99 and import it to 11g or export of 11g into 10g so that will be covered and export or import using multiple dumps okay using file size parameter and uh, other and there are also some small topics which will also be covered in this complete data pump series and uh, if you want and if you find that any topic is missing so uh, then you can uh, mention those topics in the comment section so that in next uh, video i will add them also in this data pump series okay so let's prepare the environment so at first we need a directory where dumps will be stored okay so you can query so these are the already created directories by oracle okay so we need our uh, custom directory for data pump so let's create the directory has been created since the directory has been created using sys user so only a sys user can store dumps in this directory okay so you need to grant read write access on this directory to the backup user and remember always use a separate user for backup activity in production we never use sys user for performing backup and restoration activity okay so first we will create backup user and give it required grants provide read write access on this directory these four roles are required to perform export or import activity okay this is for traditional export this role is for traditional import this is for data pump export this is for data pump import okay sorry this is optional uh, in tenji and below this command is required here it is 12c it is not required so now we will first export a single schema and after that multiple schema so first we check that the object counts in this schema so both schema have one table inside them so it is the command for export using data pump 
the first parameter will be username and password after that schemas parameter where you need to mention the schema name after that directory mention here the directory we have created and last step dump file name and log file name remember it is a os level command so it will not execute in sql prompt okay so here you can see that it had thrown an error that unable to create master table okay now again try in most cases you will not get these kind of errors in some cases you will receive this error so don't worry it is common issue just give that backup user and quota on user stable space meanwhile you can check that dumps are being created or not so here you can see in the directory dump has been created along with its log yeah so our single schema export has been completed same can be done for multiple schema just put a comma between schema name like this you can mention uh, n number of schema here okay just separate them using a single comma Meanwhile, you can check the dump has been created or not. So yes, dump has been created. One thing you will notice that I have not mentioned your log file name. So it has been created. Default name log. So that is not an issue. Uh, you have noticed that I didn't mention log file name. Okay. Okay. So hope you understand the whole process. So thanks for watching. In next video, we will discuss single or multiple table export. So, thank you.